Certainly we've all observed instances of questionable driving while on the road. Are you prepared to set forth on a brand new adventure brimming with anticipation, exploration, and thrilling surprises? And let's start this exciting journey. Aww. This video is made for educational purposes and contains significant original text commentary. Oh no, if only they set all crossings to activate when there's a train coming on any set of tracks. Hope everyone is safe. Always heed the lights, gates, and signals at railroad crossings. When the lights flash, stop and wait for it to become safe and clear to cross. Rotate tires at recommended intervals to ensure even wear, folks. This practice helps maintain tire integrity and extends their lifespan. Speeding is not risky driving. It's a question of whether you can control it or not. Anyway, nobody was injured. Hmm, presumably the truck driver lost here and U-turns illegal. Do not imitate this. Whoops! I wish they had been more careful if their vehicle was too high. On October 22, 2019, at the intersection of Willow Creek Road and Pioneer Parkway in Prescott, a dump truck with its bed lifted casually tore down a utility pole line and traffic lights. Wow! Oh. Glad he is okay. Too wet. Oh. Do it. Oh. That was so close. Thankfully, there were no collisions. Wow, how lucky are they? Glad everyone is all right. In an emergency, unless you are sure there is no car next to you, do not dodge randomly. Thankfully, there were no injuries. No, obeying traffic signals, including stopping at red lights. Traffic laws are in place to protect the safety of all guys. Ah, oh. oh, before making a turn, wait for a safe gap in oncoming traffic. Ensure that there is sufficient time to complete the turn without impeding oncoming vehicles. On March 3rd, 2023, police officers chased a stolen vehicle driving in downtown Atlanta. After a short pursuit, officers can stop the vehicle. Hey, Brian, the driver is going to be bailing southbound on location. We have a driver right there. Don't run a red light, guy. Wait until the lights turn green before proceeding. I think they should have used a tarp to protect cargo. This is especially useful for loose items. Keep your vehicle visible to other drivers. Ensure that your headlights, brake lights, and turn signals are functioning properly. Be cautious of vehicles making turns, especially left turns, ensuring that turning vehicles yield appropriately and that you yield when making turns. Remain alert and prepared to respond when someone changes their lane. Whoa! Wish this guy better luck next time. Whoa! No, this must be a newbie driver. Anyone driving a longer bucket must pay attention to the inner wheel difference. 
This is why you should maintain a safe and consistent speed with the flow of traffic. Avoid abrupt changes in speed that may surprise drivers behind you. Wow, glad everyone is fine. Ugh, the BMW driver was on their phone, obviously distracted. Glad there wasn't much damage to the car. Bro, if your car has ABS, don't pump the brakes. There's a sand-salt mixture from the snow which occurred overnight here. Anyway, they are okay. Oh dear, everyone should conduct regular pre-trip inspections to identify any mechanical issues that may affect the vehicle's performance. Ugh, staying focused on the road, mate. No, should have to slow down a little instead of racing with him. Um, patience is a virtue when it comes to yielding. Wait for a suitable gap rather than attempting to force your way in, everyone. Oh, BMW X5M and Audi caused a mess in the tunnel, and who pays everyone? Let me know your opinion in the comments below. It all happened so quickly that I was unable to blink. A Volvo emerged from the fog. She should always slow down to a speed suitable for fog. Well, it seems someone suffered from a bout of mere amnesia for getting to consult these trusty reflective guides on the road. What is he doing? Look in the rear view mirror, man. Hope both can resolve it peacefully. The driver with a recorder was able to avoid an accident thanks to the competent advice of his navigator. Of course, they should have driven more slowly on such a slippery road, but this time it worked out. Oh no, did he have brake failure? Or are the roads too narrow? Anyway, pay attention to your brake pedal. A drunk tractor driver working on a farm tractor on a local farm drove into oncoming traffic and rammed an SUV. It's encouraging to see people coming to their aid. Good thing he went down at 36 miles per hour. I think if he had enough ground clearance on that turn, he wouldn't have gotten spooked when the pegs started to drag, which then upset the suspension mid-corner. Simple mistake. He wasn't going that fast. Could have made that turn if he just unclenched and leaned the bike. This Yamaha R1 only has slight damage on the left side. In Australia, trucks have a red and yellow sign on the back with do not overtake turning vehicle. The truck has legal right to use two lanes during a turn but few car drivers know the rule. Good job, cops. When sirens pierce the air, maintain a calm demeanor. Make way for law enforcement by safely pulling to the side of the road, everyone.
Exceeding the recommended load capacity for a tire puts excessive stress on the tire, leading to overheating and potential failure. If your vehicle undergoes modifications or if you frequently carry heavy loads, consider upgrading to tires with a higher load carrying capacity. Really? What is he thinking? And now someone has lost his license. I've been in this scenario many times, and as the merging car is approaching, I would have been prepared to either slow down or immediately take to the next lane if required. I'm amazed that so many people don't do this. You can consider applying a protective film or coating to your windshield. These products can help mitigate the impact of small stones, reducing the risks of cracks. Well done. Good braking and control. The Ford Ranger UTE managed to get traction just in time. A new electricity pole was installed the next day. Fortunately, the train can stop due to its slow speed. Stay clear of the rail tracks, everyone. No! Railroad is not a parking zone. And remember, everyone, do not approach the collision scene. Clearly he expects that everyone should go around him. Anyway, this is not a good idea. Hope everyone is fine. Everything that transpired was unexpected. Bald tires are also more prone to hydroplaning on wet surfaces. The end, at least, vastly exceeded my expectations. Personally, I think the intersection should have been approached a little slower. I hope they take a lesson from this. Glad she wasn't riding alone. I'm sure she learned from it and hope she has many years enjoying riding motorcycles. Ouch, nice save. His throttle control was super consistent. This is the moment a bus burst into flames just moments after the driver noticed smoke. The fire started just after the bus climbed a hill in South Wales. We still need to have the concept of defensive driving. There are a lot of drivers like that, so we need to be careful to protect ourselves. Hey bro, don't focus on cops, focus on the road. Our concentration is a piece of the collective effort to promote road safety. Mate, use your turn signals to communicate your intentions to other drivers. This gives them a heads up about your upcoming maneuver. What was wrong with him? Drift on the race, not on the parking. It's risky to pass a truck on a winter road. The truck driver lost control of the vehicle and did not have enough time to pass. Do not imitate this. Good job, cops. The wild police chase ends with a pickup truck in the pond. No, bro. Apply brakes gently to avoid skidding. Sudden braking can lead to loss of control. That is scary. 
Dash cam shows the moment of flight incident in a bridge shortly after takeoff and careened into a shallow river. Oh no, the whole road is so big but turned into small alleys. Is it boy? <coughs> because of the illegally parked vehicles at the intersection, it is even more difficult to drive on the road. Is it boy? <coughs> Be careful with manholes on the road, folks. Luckily, everyone is fine. And this is the same situation. Tailgating often ends in rear-end collisions. Trust me, that's not the kind of drama you want. Oh dear, the car lost control because he was startled by the car parked on the side of the road. Well, the easiest ticket the cops will ever write. Trying to save 5 seconds is going to cost him 15 minutes and $500. Well, 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 looky what we got here. <laughs> Something you don't see every day. Well, well, well. You got yourself. What is that? In a bit of a rush, were you, buddy? A red light runner tried to beat the light and got badly beaten up by the can opener bridge. At least the driver came back later and removed the debris from the road. Why did he break so late? I think he can halt or turn. Strictly speaking, there will be a significant fine for failing to keep a safe distance and notify while changing lanes. Do not imitate this. definitely lack of adherence to distance. It's advisable to increase your following distance beyond the standard 3 second rule. If you don't want to be involved in a car collision, never run at the red light. And it's almost Christmas time again. Good luck as you are driving. Black car goes straight from the turn only lane, then lies to the cops, saying this truck drove them into it. Thankfully, dash cam saves the day. The truck driver was with two colleagues inside the vehicle when he was approached by two armed criminals, so he dragged the criminal's car for more than a kilometer. After being dragged, suspects managed to escape. That was a train with gas, but a lucky chance there was no fire. Never attempt to outrun an approaching train. Trains move faster than they appear. Bravo! This defensive driving level is too high. He is still looking in the rearview mirror. If possible, let's try to flash lights as early as possible. It reminds vehicles behind to slow down. In the rare event of a stalled vehicle on the tracks, follow emergency procedures followed by railroad authorities, such as abandoning the vehicle and moving to a safe distance. Oh dear, the truck driver exceeded the speed limit in Kamaz and failed to balance the vehicle in the turn. Respect to those who helped. Glad no car oncoming. Oh dear, the van driver probably fell asleep at the wheel, and the driver of the van who drove into the rear was rushing so fast. 
coffee or energy drinks can provide a short-term alertness boost. Cops were called because the UTE driver did a runner on foot, and he should consider taking defensive driving courses to enhance his awareness and skills. It is good that nobody was inside the parked car. The concrete mixer runs away, topples over, and goes onto a car and a wall. Definitely his front tires lose traction in the corner. Everyone can use the rear brake for sliding. Don't ever use the front in corners, it will save your life. Luckily, no passer buyers were involved. I hope he drives more defensively. Some drivers just have no common sense when approaching a clear way. Two lanes had stopped and he threw at speed. Bro, respect stop signs, traffic lights, and other road signs. Who's at fault? Let me know your opinion in the comment below. And this is the same case. Defensive driving, friend. You're not at fault, but, but you both could have avoided that easily. Never go through an intersection that congested that fast. Obey posted speed limits in residential areas. These limits are set to ensure the safety of residents. At least that little beep gave the tree a chance to get out of the way. <gasps> Fortunately, there were no consequences other than a broken windshield. Notify your insurance provider about the incident and provide them with the necessary details. They can guide you on the next steps for filing a claim. Impatient, then inconveniences, and delays everyone anyway. A tale as old as time. Don't cut corners when making a right turn. Stay within your lane and complete the turn smoothly. This car cuts over at the last minute for exit, tailgates, honks for not blowing through a red, then rams the rear of the truck. This is what people do when they're in a rush on the road. They're looking for these shortcuts and not paying attention to priorities. Can't miss that exit no matter what, right? I see this multiple times a day in California. A little love tap to start the morning, but it's too early for this. Why did he even want to change lanes there? Both lanes are for going straight. What was the point of the changing lanes there? This happened when a white Kia SUV turned left in front of a Dodge Ram. All issues were satisfactorily resolved. No way! Did he become distracted? Never texting or daydreaming while driving. Can't believe the driver from the car is visible in the video and replied, I didn't look in the mirror. He needs a driving course right now. Distractions such as using a mobile phone, eating, or adjusting the radio divert your attention from the road. Keep your focus on driving, bro. Yielding at intersections, trust me, it contributes to more cooperative and less stressful driving environments.
Who is at fault? Let me know your opinion in the comments. If you are driving and come across a truck stuck under a bridge, prioritize safety. Slow down, stay alert, and be cautious of the situation. Dear car owners, and especially car owners, clear snow from the entire car. Bro, abrupt lane changes without signaling can lead to frustration and road rage among other drivers. The main thing is to turn the turn signal, mate. Do not imitate this. Obtain their name, phone number, insurance details, and license plate number. That's all. And this is a similar situation. Good job. Drive defensively, bro. Report any stuck trains you come across at crossings to the relevant railroad company or the local authorities. Give specifics about the location. And this is the same. No one was injured. If only the truck driver would yield to the ambulance. What a nightmare. Pray that everyone is okay. No, what is he doing? Without turn signals, other drivers may be uncertain about your next move. If you are at fault for the collision, admit responsibility truthfully and responsibly. Oops, he tried to brake while on gravel. Anyways, he was wearing full gear. Oh no, he made a move forward and forgot to account for the traffic for a brief second. Luckily, he was not hurt. What's going on? Clearly there is a deficit there. That was a close call. He used up all his yearly luck. When drivers follow the rules, intersections can function smoothly, reducing delays and improving overall traffic flow. Remember, folks. Oh my, in the fog, the truck driver decided to stop in the right lane. A woman has been taken into custody after leading police on a pursuit in Clark County. Everyone is okay. The driver who got hit said the video helped a lot as they were able to avoid arguing and having to explain. Dash cam is so great. Just bad luck. It was a bit windy that day.
This car transporter caught on fire on the hard shoulder of the M6 northbound between J19 and J20. Highways England Manage closed, which are lanes one and two of the carriageway. Thank you for watching videos from start to finish. Share your favorite moment in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. See you next video.